We called Scott Flanagan Landscaping because I work with Scott's wife. And over the years, I heard about all of the different projects and jobs that he had done for other people. And I was intrigued. I had a really lovely relationship with his wife. And I thought if Scott is half as great as his wife, it was going to be a really good fit. And he came into our home when we had our first conversation. It was in fact true. It was just a good fit. And we had a really lovely rapport from the beginning. In our conversations, we, Paul and I both felt really comfortable in cutting Scott loose to do his design thing. And that was really a good thing because everybody needs to lean into the people with the expertise and Scott had the expertise. He came in with a set of blueprints after we had had some initial discussion and it was great to see the ideas printed out on sheets of paper so we could visualize how it was going to look in the long run. So we had three different designs, each with a different sort of concept, a different layout, and each design taking into account something that both Paul and I had said was important to us. What it turned out to be was an entire redesign and it was, not only did it correct our flooding problem, but it was a beautiful design that really enhanced our backyard. Our problems though were more than what we thought. We thought, you know, we, we just have this sort of dirty, old, sort of bland patio, but we also knew we had a problematic step and the step was causing some flooding in our basement. It wasn't until Scott started doing some digging and found that not only did we have a poor design, we had a poor foundation underneath. So the reason for our, our flooding issue was more than what we thought, and we never would have uncovered that had Scott not done some literal digging of our patio. It was completely exciting every day Although there was mess and there was heavy equipment in the backyard and there was dust, that was part of the excitement knowing that we were completely transforming our patio and that like we could potentially have this really great space. And they were so thoughtful, so meticulous. You know, it was, it, it, it seemed to go fast, but it was not done in, you know, 24 hours, 48 hours. This was over the course of several days. And yeah, it was super exciting seeing um, every day like what the what the final project was like what the final piece of that was going to happen for that day in the past when we had other landscapers the owner of the company only came to show us the design and then came when it was time for us to pay <laughs> scott was actually on site which is not what i had expected for several days i would look out my kitchen window and who did i see but scott flanagan working shoulder to shoulder with his crew the communication was sort of multi-tiered. We would get voice messages on our phone, texts, knocks on the door. So I never was in the dark. I always knew sort of what was going to be happening for the day. And at any given time, I could pop my head out and talk to Scott. Initially, I I was kind of against uh, saving the old materials because they were they seemed to be in bad shape. And I thought, well, we're you know we're going to spend we're going to invest in our new patio, so we might as well make it all brand new. And then you showed me the layout and the design that would incorporate the reuse of our old pavers and uh, it looked beautiful. And once you guys cleaned them up, it looked great. And then I felt really glad that we had done that because we didn't throw the bricks into a, a dump or anything. We reused them and it saved us uh, thousands of dollars, which I, turned out to be great. Yeah, and thousands of dollars we're hoping that we can use as we continue our hopefully multi-stage landscape project. When we first saw the plan from Scott, first I started picking away at it, and then I realized over time that it was far superior design to what we had had. So then I just said, Scott and his crew are the designers, and it turned out fantastic. I like the step. I like the circle. I like the size of it. We have not had one drop of water in our basement. We do not have any flooding or mud or ick around our house. So it seems to have really sort of done the trick. And we've had some uh, torrential downpours over the last two months and no problems. The peace of mind is worth it because now we in those torrential downpours, I slept right through the night. We're not really certain what phase two is going to be, but we know we want to keep on this trajectory of investing in our landscape. There's a lot of work to be done around our home. And so I really have a lot of faith that Scott's going to guide us. What's the best value for our dollar in terms of curb appeal or in terms of building on our landscape? 
I'm super looking forward to the spring and how we're going to build out that space and really make good use of it this summer. We've got high school graduation parties coming up. Um, we have a lot of relaxing that we want to do after getting our son off to college. So I think it's going to be a really fun, fun year as we start to re-landscape that whole area and um, just kick back with the family this summer. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. I know I enjoy the work that I do and I consider myself pretty fortunate because I wouldn't have the privilege of doing this satisfying work without the support of excellent customers like them and a phenomenal crew standing by my side. If you want to know more about the crew, there's a link to some videos about them. If you want to see more about this project, there's a four part series where we show the work that we do step by step narrated by yours truly. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to our channel. As always, thank you guys for tuning in because I enjoy sharing this stuff. So share it with your friends and come back and watch more. I'm editing more projects. See you soon. Cheers.